Hey everybody, welcome back to the second half of the last video in my stained glass series where we're doing some, um, we're doing some framing. Um, now in the last one I had the, we got all the, um, pieces of zinc cut up. Um, what I've done in the meantime is I've assembled them around the edges and it's good to do this on a board so you can tack them down with either, um, you know, the horseshoe nails or I just use these little, um, you know, thumbtacks. They work just as well. And, um, so you want to get it all lined up good and, um, see how our edges fit really nicely. They're, uh, exactly, um, the right length. And just be sure, again, because you don't want to screw this up, it will be a major problem. Be sure that, you know, and double check at the end and be sure that you've left your open ends on the vertical pieces so you can put your handy hangers down in there. Okay, now we're going to, uh, now that we've got it all stabilized and held in place, we're going to flux these corners where the zinc uh, pieces line up and we're going to um, solder the zinc pieces. I have to move over because I don't have enough cord. Okay. Uh, I still don't have enough. Okay. That's good. Barely. Um, clean the solder now and then get a little solder. Now you're just going to kind of dab a little bit on there and it'll cover that um that gap between you use as little as possible you don't want a big blob you know um just use a small amount as you can get by with to um connect the two pieces okay now that side's done okay and then um give it just a second to cool and uh, while it's cooling, you can take your thumbtacks out. We're going to flip it over, do the same thing to the back. And then we'll put in the handy hangers. All right. So you don't need your thumbtacks now. And this one does, isn't going to lay flat because it's got that rock in the center. So it's kind of a challenge. you got to, um, it was a real, ch it's a challenge soldering the back of one when you have those you know, uh, embellishments like that that poke out. So that's challenging. All right, um, same thing, um, small lobs. But get enough on there that it, you know, that it connects them, that it, that it covers them good because you, um, you don't want them to come undone. And that is a major, problem. Okay, now, time for the tricky part, because these handy hangers are a little tricky, um, in that you need like two more arms. Okay, flux your handy hanger, I mean mainly on this part that's going to go down in there, down in that groove. Okay, see the groove on that side? That's where the handy hanger is going to go. All right, now I'm going to get a bunch of flux and just dab it down in there real good just you want that to be um nice and uh flux and then i'll see i'll put it down in that one like it that way okay and then we're gonna flux see the hole uh let me get it okay see that hole uh, area around the handy hanger I'm going to fill with flux. I mean with solder. Okay, so it's fluxed real good. The trick is holding it. Um, I just, I don't know if y'all can see. Uh, let me see. I just use my arms and um, I have to switch hands and I solder with my left hand and hold the solder with my right because I don't have enough cord. So this is, this can be done easier than what I'm doing. Um, but Anyway, you get the idea. There's not just a whole lot to it. And 
and I just blob some in there and then you can smooth it out after and then you smooth this closed crap whoops uh, it's a work in progress so I'm still getting used to these there's probably if you watch videos on handy hangers they probably do this a lot easier there's probably some easier way to do it I haven't watched the videos um, I just kind of wing it and um, I probably should watch some because I know it's probably an easier way to do this I could put it in my vise that's one thing that's what you really should do is put it in a vise but um, I'm lazy so I'm just gonna um, do this here. The main thing is that you get that gap closed, okay? Around the hanger. Okay, that's good. Um, now, uh, I just want to smooth this over a little bit. I'm going to flux it again. Smooth it. Okay. And I, I roughed up this edge over here, so I'm going to put some blocks on it and heat that again and did my cord come undone? It feels like my solder is on. There it is. Okay. I'm going to put just a tad more solder right there because I had to spread it out because it got um, it got kind of mangled and I wanted to smooth it. But in so doing, um, I spread it out a little too much. So this is, you know, uh, kind of technical, you know, I mean, it, it takes practice, I think, more than anything, and I haven't practiced a whole lot with it. But I do like the way these look. I like the way they work. Okay, so now we're going to do the other one. And so we take the hanger. We flux it really good. And then... We flux inside the hole. Get that channel really good and flux. And that's your hanger down in it. I may have just enough solder to finish this. I think I have another, maybe I have another solder somewhere. I hope I do. Um, but I think I'm gonna have enough to finish this. Wow, well that thing is hot on that other side. Some more flux on it and smooth it over. Be sure that it melts real good up next to that hanger. We want that to be very strong. Another thing to keep in mind, don't do what I almost did. Um, the hangers, of course, have a hole in the middle of that circle. Don't get flux all in that hole. You could probably get it out, but I don't know, maybe... It, I, usually you can just pop something pop flux out I mean solder out when it gets like that but just don't just be careful and don't plug your hole up uh, with solder um okay now that we're done with all of that um I'm gonna plug, I'm gonna plug this iron because we're done with that now uh another key thing to keep in mind with regard to iron care is do what I'm doing when you get done using your iron especially if you're going to put it up for a while um, you don't want to put it up with no solder on it. Don't clean it real good and then put it up. That'll wear it out. Um, the 
iron needs something to burn while it's cooling down. So you want to leave some solder on the end of your iron when it's cooling. That's what my teacher told my not my teacher but my friend my mentor i guess you could say told me okay now see how that looks see those hooks it's not perfect you know um i could work on that side a little more but but the hooks are there and um and it looks really nice see um see our edges how um uh, even they are and they're cut real smooth and nice so done okay um the next thing that we're going to do is talk about um what you do uh next we're going to um patina this and um that is easy here's the patina it's blue i just put some on my little cap here and then i get an old uh paintbrush where's my paintbrush there. Okay, and then I know there's a red line on there, but it's going to turn black. So, see how that does? How nice that looks. It'll turn black. Be sure you get right up in here in that crevice um, between um, your zinc and your solder, your glass. Um, so, you'll want to do your patina. Uh, that'll be the next thing. Now, it's really messy, and it it greasy. it's kind of greasy-like, and it gets all over your glass. So, um, after it's good and dry, um, you can uh, clean it, clean your glass real good with just some, like, warm water um, and a rag. And then you put on, if you want to, your polisher stuff. You don't have to do all of these things the way that I do them. You know, you can just, you know, you do need to not leave flux on the glass or on the solder um, because that can cause corrosion. You do want to be sure you get some water and get the flux off. But you don't have to put the polish, you don't have to use a polisher. Uh, I just do because it makes them look so pretty. Um, and you don't have to patina. I just do because I like the way that looks. Um, so it's all up to you. You know, I mean, this is... You know, this is art. You can to each uh, their own. Be sure you get your edges um, and where the hooks are because you don't want a bunch of silver sticking out anywhere, especially not right around your hooks. It'll be real obvious. So get your patina everywhere. And then um, I'm going to let this side dry and then I'll flip it to the other side. And then the patina is done. Like I said, then we wipe all that down with a rag, put on our polisher, buff it. And if you don't have a buffer, like a car, the car buffer thing, just buff it with your hand in a rag. And then I get my rag and I get my fingernail or something pointy and go along all these little grooves. And if I have bevels or, you know, texturing, be sure you get all that polishing stuff out because it's like wax and it'll be cloudy if you don't. So do all of that. And when you get done with that, you're done. Um, these little bits of solder and stuff will come off when you rub, um, and it'll be um, it'll be done. And I already showed you a piece that I finished, so you've seen uh, how they look when you do them this way. Um, so that is all of uh, the stained glass tutorial videos. If there's anything that anybody would like to see more detail on, or see again, or whatever. Um, you know, something you just don't have and you want me to take another run at it, I'm totally willing to do that. Just give me a message and say, hey, I'd like to see more about cutting or circle cutting or whatever, you know. Um, you know, I, I believe that YouTube is a good platform for sharing ideas, for collaboration, uh, for, you know, I mean, art is not fun unless you share it, you know, and I am all for that not to mention the fact that you meet so many nice people like this nice lady that called me you know the other day i'm gonna call her back um all over the world you know it's just an amazing opportunity so i want to take full advantage of it please don't hesitate to contact me um i will be happy um you know to uh, help you any way i can so thanks for tuning in please don't forget to like and subscribe that helps me grow my channel and i'm trying to do that i'm working really hard at it 
and um, you guys uh, watch. I'll do some more stained glass videos when I think of what else to do, but maybe y'all will give me an idea, and then I can just get started on one. So uh, I like to have a project. I like to have something I'm working on, so you guys help me out. Y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you very much for being here, and God bless you.